நம்ம பார்க்க வந்து லாங்ஸ் நம்ம கான்செப்ட் யூஸ் பண்ணி சால்வ் பண்ண போற தேர்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் மார்க் ப்ராப்ளம் ஓகே இதுதான் வந்து கிவன் ப்ராப்ளம் இங்கே வந்து டபிள்யூ ஏ கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ரேட் ஆஃப் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஏ ரேட் ஆஃப் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஏ ரேட் ஆஃப் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் பி ஃபைன் ஃபோர்ஸ் பி இந்த பியோட ஃபோர்ஸ் வந்து சொல்லிக்கிறாங்க ஓகே இது வந்து ஒரு இன்க்ளைன் பிளேட் இட் இஸ் இன்கேன் அட் மேங்கல் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ்டீன் இது ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டிகிரிஸ் இந்த இன்க்ளைன் பிளேனில் இது வந்து ஒரு சிலிண்டர் ஓகே இப்போ நம்ம பார்த்துருந்து சைட் கியூப் ஒன்று வந்து இந்த ரியாக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸ் சி இந்த ரியாக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸ் சி வந்து இன்க்ளைன் பிளேனுக்கும் இந்த சிலிண்டர் ஏக்கும் ஆக்ட் ஆகுது த பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் கான்டாக்ட் பிட்வீன் திஸ் இன்க்ளைன் பிளேன் அண்ட் சிலிண்டர் இஸ் ஆர் சி இட் பி ஆக்டிங் டுவோர்ட்ஸ் த இட் வில் பி ஆக்டிங் towards the cylinder it is the first force second one is its weight third one is it will act on in the in the bar or force that is t apo vandu edha nam feel pannadey nam draw pannumo and the object ku reaction force nu to lack towards it okay so we be act on adhe mari in the object b eduthana inga or reaction force nu act avum it will act towards it lag towards it will r b it will r b it lag towards the point b okay adhe mari in the force p adha kekkaranga so 1 2 it rate adhe mari in act aara and the bar oda reaction force it lag towards the cylinder b In cylinder A, we can apply Langley's theorem because only three forces are acting. One is weight, this is R C, and next is this uh, reaction force, this is T. Second one, the all forces should be acting away from the center point. All forces may one the in the center point only it should it should be acting away. If or in the part of that, the reaction forces is acting towards the center point. So we have to pass this R C towards the center so that it will come out appo idu da vandu rc this rc should be acting away from this center point okay then this t should also be acting away from this center okay one more thing is these two angles are equal angle form here this is 16 these two angles are equal if this angle is 15 it should also be 15 opposite angles are equal fbd for cylinder a okay this is point a this is rc okay we know that if this angle is 60 if initially rc is acting in this way okay but for us all force should be acting away from this center so we are making this r penetrate towards this center point so that rc will be acting away from this point okay so if this is 15 this should also be 15 if this is 15 if this is 15 this is 15 this angle should should also be 15 because opposite angles are equal we know the value of this angle this complete angle 15 105 degrees same way here so this is right angle 90 plus 60 is equal to 150 degrees for finding out this sum of angles in say in circle is equal to 360 degrees so 360 minus 360 minus equal to 135 degrees 135 degrees okay so now we can uh, now we can apply lagrange theorem rc is proportional to sin of rc is proportional to sin of angle between other two forces other two forces are t and 100 angle between other two forces is 105 same way t is directly proportional to sin of angle between other two forces that is 150 it is equal to 100 is proportional to sin of 
angle between other two forces that is 135. RC is equal to 105. Okay? That is equal to 136.6 Newton. T is equal to that is equal to 122.47 Newton. Okay? We are going to draw free word diagram for B. For the cylinder B. This is P. Angle between this Y axis and P is 60 degrees. Here weight is acting. W is equal to 50 Newton. Okay. Here this RD is also acting. Here RD. This is RD. RD is, is making angle 45 with respect to Y axis. See, here it is 45 and this will make angle with respect to 45. This force T. T is making angle 50 with respect to X axis. Here we can't apply Lambert's theorem because 4 forces are acting T, P, RD, and W. So we can solve this problem by equations of equilibrium. That is, first we have to draw free word diagram for this. P is making angle 60 with respect to y axis. As I said earlier, whatever force it is, whatever angle it is. If some force is making angle with respect to x axis or y axis, take that axis with respect to cos theta. Here P is making angle 60 with respect to y axis. So we get and this P force is acting in downward direction, so R1 also should be in downward direction. This is P cos 60. If this is P cos 60, if you draw this in x axis, you will get P sin 60. Same way, RD is making angle 45 with respect to y axis. Here it is. Here the R mark is in upward direction, so RD cos 45. If you draw this with respect to x axis, you get RD sin 45. Same way here, T is making angle 15 with respect to x axis, so if you make this T with respect to x axis, you will draw here an T is making angle 50 with respect to x axis. So T cos 15 and here T sin 15 degrees. Okay. Now we have to resolve forces along horizontal and vertical direction. Sigma h is equal to 0. We get minus P sin 60 minus Rd sin 45 plus T cos 15 is equal to 0. Simplifying this equation, we will get minus Rd 3 2. Okay. Now, solving forces on vertical direction is equal to 0. We will get minus P cos 60 minus 50 minus t sin 15 simplifying this equation we will be getting minus point is equal to 81.7 take this equation 1 this is equation 2 see we have to substitute the value of t in this two equations after substituting the value of t in these two equations only we are getting these two final simplified equation, right? We can solve this equation by using scientific calculator. After solving this one, we are finally getting two equations: point minus point eight six six p minus point seven zero seven r d is equal to minus one one eight point three zero. So we are getting two equations and two unknown values. 
one value is P and next value is RD. This is FX 991MS. Okay. Press the mode button three times. One, two, three. You get equation. EQN refers to equation. For solving equations, you have to press one. It is asking unknowns. Two or three. Here we have two equations and two unknowns, right? So press number two. It is asking a one value. Okay. See, this is a one. This is b one. This is c one. This is a two. This is b two. This is c two. Okay. A one value is minus point eight six six. After applying value. You have to press this equal to button to apply the next value. Okay, B one is minus point seven zero seven. After applying value, you have to press this equal to button. Okay, next it is asking C one value. C one is minus one one eight point three zero minus one one eight point three zero. After entering value, you have to press this equal to button. Next, it is asking a two value. A two is minus point five. Minus point five. After applying this value, you have to press this equal to button. Now, it is asking b two value. B two value is point seven zero seven. Now, it is asking c value. C value is eighty one point six nine. Okay. Now we got. X value as twenty six point eight zero. X value refers to P, right? X value refers to P. So P is equal to twenty six point eight zero. You have to press this equal to button once again to get value of R D. Y is equal to one thirty four point four nine. That is equal to R D value. R D is equal to one thirty four point four nine, right? Okay. So at final we are getting P is equal to twenty six point eight newton and R D value as one thirty four point four nine newton. Okay thank you